I, I saw a tweet that a, a buddy of mine made earlier that it was like there are two types of dad, uh, tired, tired, two, ty two types of men actually, tired dad and whore, and that's Felix right in this game at Clavier. <laughs> Welcome to the Fuser stream. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So is... This party's getting crazy. So is... <laughs> is Clavier the the person here? Is the, the culprit. Per the person? <laughs> Wait, Gaviners? Yeah, that's the his band. Yeah. The Gaviners. The Gaviners is his band. Yeah. That's awful. It's like, oh, look, it's the blue badger. It's like, yeah. Blue badger, hello. Hi, Hokun. Oh, I love him. I oh, you'll that see one a is. charged poster. We're actually at the concert. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Flavor is a nice guy. He's the kind of guy that you can beat in court. He goes, oh, good job. Here are some concert tickets. <laughs> what a, what a super cool dude. Oh my god, I have to voice Trucy. Okay, I have to have energy. I only just woke up. I need to have energy. Raise your hand. Everyone can send you their energy. Send me my. Uh, send me your energy. I'm sending you my energy. Uh, uh, make a, a giant Genki Dama. Uh, this is so cool. Us at a Gaviner's concert. Uh, did, did you say something? My ears are still ringing. The Gaviner's putting the sick back in music. Shut up, Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought Gav Mr. Gavin was really nice. Sending us those tickets at twenty percent off. Oh, we still have to pay for them. <laughs> it's not free. They're hard to get a hold of, you know. I mean, yeah, they always sell out, and <laughs> that's fair. When you invite people to a concert, is usually free. Let's head to his dressing room, Apollo. You know, like we're a couple of VIPs. I've always dreamed of being a VIP at a Gaviner's show. Um, Trucy, you didn't know who Prosecutor Gavin was before that case. <laughs> Call it out. Call it fake fan. What kind of fake fan doesn't know the lead <laughs> vocalist's name? Oh, yeah. She had no idea who he was. Oh, this guy. Who the, who's this? I've always been a fan. What are you talking about? Yeah, but I'm a girl. I'm supposed to swoon over gods of rock. God awful, maybe. Oh, look, look at that, that cute bonk. sprite. Wow. Oh, she's bonk. so cute. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's, 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 it's the bunk of tee -hee, I did it again. Oh, I love Trucy so much. When the war crime tribunal asks why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I bought all their stuff on the way home from the trial. I got 12 Gavitors albums and 15 concert videos. It's quite a bit of impulse shopping. I got an advance on my next 15 years worth of allowance. I'm Mr. Wright, that sounds like a real act of generosity. <laughs> 15 years? <laughs> she's gonna be paying her back until she's 30. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have imagined me here at a Gaviner's concert watching Prosecutor Gavin rock? To be honest, he was kind of cool, and I'm kind of envious. Wait, hold on. Why would she. Gay, even... gay, homosexual, gay. Why would she even need an advance on her allowance if she's literally the fucking CEO of, <laughs> of Right Anything Agency? Like, he... what the fuck? Because Phoenix is the one who manages their money, so he just took the money that she's made that he was going to give her his allowance and spread it out. What an asshole. Let her, let her have all the money. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pay the bill somehow. I guess. Not that I ever admit that to Tracy. Uh... There's some cop gear in here, Clavier. I don't, I'm not sure I vibe with that. Look at the Badger guitar on the left there. That's a, that's a cool guitar. Oh yeah, this fucking track is so butt rock. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so good. It's called Guilty Love. Oh, it's so stupid. Oh, you made I it. Love it. I love it though. Mr. Gavin, thanks so much for the tickets. And the invoice sent along with them. You were incredible up on stage, Mr. Gavin. Nothing like music to brighten the mood after a trial, y'all. And we're almost ready for our next act. I'm looking forward to it myself. What? La... La me wa. It's, it's like La me wa? Yeah. La me wa is singing, like, you know, right? The, the, the siren the French of the ballad? No. It's French Vermeer. 
Okay, so it's the mirror. The mirror, yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. The flyer says you flew all the way over from the show. It's Hatsune Miku, bitch. It's Hatsune Miku. <laughs> That's right. But real. I happen to catch her show while overseas. Her voice is divine. I knew I had to invite her to perform with us. I feel like I haven't been doing a consistent uh, voice for Gavin, but like, this is fine. This is a good one. <laughs> Who this? I don't remember. Oh. It's the bodyguard. Oh, oh I always did got. I always Oh, okay. He looks like he's Amish. <laughs> I'll need to take a step back there, English. We don't want your kind around here. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me while I go churn some butter. <laughs> Whoa, who is this guy? He's huge. Ah, allow me to introduce Mr. Romain Latous. Latou? Lettuce. It's supposed to be like Romaine lettuce. lettuce. Roma yeah, I know it's like but, the Romaine lettuce. So it probably is Latous, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me watch manager and her interpreter, incidentally. It is a great honor for us to be here. And a great honor for Lamorar to be heard in this country. Um... Okay, yeah, I'm totally... <laughs> you, want, you want to take I'm, that one, Luca? <laughs> I'm totally gonna voice the wingdings there. It's speech when they stole her voice in Superstar Saga. <laughs> that voice. I wish I could understand it. It's beautiful. Uh, uh huh. Oh, hello. Hey, you hot though. <laughs> Ooh, it's Lamiwa. I'm actually meeting Lamiwa. Lamiwa, mysterious songstress. Hmm. Her quiet, deep song glides through the air, lilting above a sparse but elegant piano accompaniment. That's weirdly poetic for you, Apollo. Now this is music. She's a real artist. Uh huh. <laughs> I agree. Oh, I hate rock. <laughs> Apollo's like, cheers, we're all drink to that. <laughs> we have long looked forward to this joint performance, you see. Oh, Lamiwa, your voice. It is art. You know, the more you say Lamiwa, the more it sounds like Namiwa. Yeah, that's like, what it's wow, supposed. Like that's that's, that's that's supposed. That's what it. That's how it's said. <laughs> but like Wario. Well, um, too bad. <laughs> yet without her piano to guard me, it is but a voice. Uh... Get a little of this, dude. All right. I've seen this kid somewhere before. Have you? He plays piano at all Vami Was concerts. He's cute, and he's a really good pianist. Good pianists are a dying breed, Since I hear. It's Dave Strider. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to introduce Machi Tobey, who is blind. Machi Tobey. I think it's to Tobaye. Tobaye. Machi Tobaye. Huh. This is why he never strays far from Lamirar. Lamirar. <laughs> it means mir dinosaur mirror in, in dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> like characters from some fairy tale. Let me watch so um what's the word? Exotic! Hot, hot yes, hot. <laughs> and mysterious. Hot. <laughs> she does seem quite pretty, at least her eyes do. Hers are kind of sightseeing music. Music. Huh? She travels the globe, putting the sight she sees in a song. Even though her appearance and voice are exotic, her songs remind us of something close and warm. Sights into song? That's so poetic. Oh, she has, she has synesthesia. Yeah. She, she was gracious enough to put music to my lyrics tonight. The guitar is serenade. I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait. And now it is time. For the next part, we're giving the Gavin the Gaviners hard rock a little rest. Lamiwa, the stage is yours. Uh-huh. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> the band members will not play during Lamiwa's ballad. Ballad. Whatever. Only matches tender tones and Lamiwa's dulcet voice. 
And my guitar, of course. Woohoo! Nights like this make it all worthwhile, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, I should have learned to play the guitar. There's not much romance in the chords of steel. Hey, don't don't say that. Should we hit the stage then? Good luck, Mr. Gavin! Take care of your hearts aren't stolen away, huh? Yeah? Alright. Let's get back to the concert hall, Polly! So who's gonna die then? <laughs> You've got our candidates, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> I hope I you like this you video, because like you're gonna be watching it about 15 times oh, over the course of this case. <laughs> good. I can't read these subtitles. Hey. Hey, these are bad. Sugar, sugar, over that night in your embrace. When you stole away the keys. I mean, I can read it now. It was just difficult because, like, uh, it was white over white. Yeah. Ascend. This, this, I gotta be real. I don't think this is very good. No, this is this was made for the DS. Yeah. Yeah. They, You're supposed to see this on like a small like 480p screen, not like a. Look at look, look at, at Glavier look at scare. Fucking, why does he look like he's from the Donkey Kong cartoon? <laughs> he's got like orange skin. <laughs> he, he before he went on stage, he just put on like a, a three entire cans of spray tan. 3D here Magic. is actually terrible. It's really bad, and they're gonna have to watch it over and over and over and over and over again. And over again. Oh no! He shredded so hard to this slow ballad, his guitar lit fire. <clears throat> As you can see, she insightful can lyrics. She can teleport. <laughs> AP Vanny for teleport. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're losing his mind trying oh to Oh my the fire. god! Oh, that was the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> yeah. And you don't even get to see the funny part when you see this again. Oh, uh, yeah. that's so good. Wow, it wasn't Lammy Wah amazing? I... I even cried a little. It was... something. I was surprised Prosecutor Gavin actually burned his guitar. Yeah, that it even surprised make... me, and I'm a magician. It huh. will make us cry later. Hmm. For sure. <laughs> what a production! What a destruction. I don't think Prosecutor Gavin was expecting it either, oddly. He looked as surprised as I was. Is that what they call risking life and limb for art? I think he's my new hero. I'm not sure I call that art. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Gatekeeper Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree though, it kind of sucked. <laughs> it's that, well, that's that 1000 Gex all the kids are talking about, I think. <laughs> well, what are we doing here? Let's get going to Mr. 1, Gavin's dressing room. 1000 Gavins. <laughs> <laughs> There's 20 minutes to the last part of the show. How many breaks does this band need? Yeah, no kidding. No peace allowed in this room. That's what the big peak slash. <laughs> what the heck was that? I was never consulted about it. I'm sorry, Mr. Gavin, sir. I was the man in charge. I played new rock, not great balls of fire. Speaking of fire, fire I have a good mind of, to fire whoever's responsible. He seems upset. <laughs> Apollo Justice, were you the one who tried to torch me? Hey, I didn't do it. Why would you even think that? <laughs> Apollo just has, a, just has a flamethrower sniper in his pocket. <laughs> he has like he has like a little magnifying glass that he used to like like the <laughs> wood of the guitar on fire. <laughs> He Some... reflected light off of his forehead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. So much for risking your life for art. See, this is how we get enjoyment of this kid. We just gotta like, constantly clown on it. And yeah, we'll be okay. yeah. Well, see, that's the good part about it is that we get to have fun and not take it seriously. This is gonna be a great stream. Yeah. The guitar serenade is ruined. Ruined. Well, let's try to talk to him at least. I'm not sure that's the best move right now. Hey, man. 
Oh, he's yeah. grumpy. Look like how grumpy he is. Yeah, he's angry. No time we no see talk him. him. <laughs> he's angry. No talk him. You mean the guitar that wasn't part of the act? Part of the act? Who'd burn up a guitar on purpose? Uh, shitlords like Ozzy Osbourne? <laughs> but it worked really well with the lyrics just then. Burning on in my heart, fire, burn my love away, all the way. Uh-huh. Wait, you think the audience thought it was... That sounds like he got lucky. They probably thought it was part of the act. Aside from your bumbling at the end there. <laughs> at least I did. <laughs> he look, he's fine now. He got lucky, he didn't even realize it. But anyway, the guitar was the Ferrari of guitars. All the speed, all the sound, hand. and all the price. If I burn one of those at every show, I'd go broke. Unusually frugal for a rock band. Try saying that to Mr. Gavin. I don't want to. <laughs> Actum, <laughs> today's been one disaster after another. My hog won't run. Again? Stop, stop talking about your hog, sir. <laughs> <laughs> My hog ain't working. <laughs> My hog ain't working. What, what, why does he keep wrecking his hog? Ah, uh, my guitar case is broken. Daddy told me there'd be days like these. What? <laughs> I think I think someone That's put panties. <laughs> oh, in, in the like it's just one hog. of the, it's just one of those days. Yeah, here. So look, here's the little um, rule of thumb for this case. If there's a reference that you don't get, it's a song lyric. Yeah. There are so many song lyrics in this case. Is that a fucking Limp Biscuit track? I don't think so. I mean, let me probably look it up. No, it's Daddy just, it's, just it's, 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 it's literally Break Stuff by Limp Biscuit that they're referencing there. <laughs> All right, so, uh, oh, it's from Van Morrison. Oh, I see. I, I interpreted that as Limp Biscuit, and that's what, I'm, that's what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> but wasn't Mammy One's song incredible? You worked on it too, right, Mr. Gavin? Ah, oh, yes, thanks. It was a collaboration. I wrote the lyrics and she wrote the melody. You know, I was surprised she could sing in English. I'm sure she practiced a long time for this day. Ah, oh, here. The, li the lyric sheet. This is going to be evidence, I'm sure. What's this? Yep. A lyric sheet? It's yours. Signed by myself and Lamua. Yippee! Thanks so much! Only ever get to sign a client defense agreements. Oh, he's jealous. <laughs> he's jealous. <jelly. laughs> he's, so he's down bad. Poor baby Apollo. <laughs> Almost time for the third act of the night. Oh, there's more? Yes. Let me watch part is done. Now it's time for us to drop our groove again, yeah? Hope you're ready to catch it. Woohoo! Ready, Apollo? Uh, I think I'll pass. Eh? I like the bit with Lemoir, but the rest could use a volume knob turned way down. Ah, Apollo, you're getting old. Does 22 qualify as old to a 15-year-old? Absolutely, yes, it does. Apollo is two years younger than Phoenix was in the first game. He's a baby. He's, he is baby. He's baby. <laughs> well, I'm going. Let the old folks rest backstage, ya. Yeah? Time to rock. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for confirming exactly what I was just about to check. Hey, you're older <laughs> than I am. All right. We should. You can, no. You can. You can. You can examine. I should. I'm gonna look at this guitar really quick. <laughs> Most important item. That's not a guitar. The design is that character I saw in the hallway, but with sunglasses. And red. What a strange mascot. He looks like he's crying. Aww. Since when was Rock about crying? They should name this guy Emo. What? The Hello? <laughs> <laughs> actually, his name. Uh, actually, his name is Char Badger. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> he's three times faster than other guitars. <laughs> There's graffiti in the mirror and lipstick. Wait, but the Gaviners are all guys. Yeah, Phoenix and Miles are the same age. They were in the same class. Yeah. Let me press here. Gavin wears lipstick. Hello, Charles. Patrol. Hey, Charles. I hate. I hate 
Clavier's cop aesthetic that he's clearly got going on here that he doesn't seem to wear on stage, weirdly, so all this stuff is just in his dressing room for no reason? I guess they're for, like, backup dancers or whatever. I guess? The guitar looked like it was made of a cop car door. That's right, Trucy's not here to see it, set me straight. Now I feel kind of lonely. Oh no! Uh, he got used to the back talk. Yeah. Is that a beef bowl? A delicious bowl of stew. A delicious bowl of stew! <laughs> made of plastic. Yeah, that sure! <laughs> That's what that is! Huh, the bottom of the bowl has a G on it. They sell these at concerts? Whatever happened to t-shirts? The key bowl. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why? Oh, hello. Postcard of La Moire. I can't read a single word of the sentence at the bottom. What? Hmm. Very. Trucy might want one of these. I'll show it to her next time we're here. Why don't you just take one so I can look at it, asshole? Because <laughs> the crime hasn't started yet. What? Yes, that's true. He's not gathering evidence yet. Yeah. He only was in the kleptomaniac mode once there's a, a crime to be solved. <laughs> Why does that look like that fucking guy from, um... Is it, was it Mike Meekins? Yeah, it looks like right, fucking Mike right Meekins' uniform. Yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. no. I wonder what happened Police uniform. Man. Next to it is a policeman's hat and a pair of handcuffs. One of the band members must like the police. It must be Mr. Gavin's bad influence. Hell yeah, Apollo! Fuck the cops! I thought rock and roll was all about being rebellious. Hell yeah, Apollo! I like Apollo, actually. <laughs> Apollo's good. <laughs> He's a good noodle. Yeah, he gets it. He gets it. <laughs> He's on the level. What is this that? Hey, it's you! That right kid! Victor Sky. You know what the right kid business pass? Yeah, Apollo right. She thinks that he's his, his large adult son. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Emma. There's no need for titles once you you've shared a bottle of fingerprinting powder. Is that an intimate thing? Yeah, that's a yeah, new one. <laughs> yeah, they have a blood pack now. Yeah, Paula, we've basically fucked. <laughs> so what she's what she's eating in English called, are called snackoos, but in Japanese they're called karinto, which are um, chocolate covered fried dough. Why do I imagine that uh, Kiss is going to be eating these in Monster of the Week? She already, she already has. Oh my gosh, she has already! <laughs> You're totally right. Oh, it looks good. It looks good though. It is really good. I've had it before. There's an Asian market, and that was near my old apartment that I used to sell them, and they were just like, oh, so good. Oh. Very, very fattening though. I could feel my my arteries hardening. <laughs> yeah, I mean, though. it's literally deep fried dough. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I would eat so, a, a bag of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Emma, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm snacking. You think I want to be here? Me in charge of security in this pit? Security? Something happened? There's no knowing with that glimmerous fop. Apparently, he's all upset because something was stolen. He wanted security back here during the co during the concert. What does he get off acting like he's some big rock star? She freaking hates him. <laughs> I love it. I love her. He is a big rock star. Hey, you listening to me? So, where's this door here lead to? This one? That's Lemmy Water's dressing room? Don't even think of going in there unless you want a piece of snack ooze in your face. Why does that look- that, that little graphic looked like it was like a fucking Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna snap you into a Slim Jim. <laughs> yeah! Is she ever in a good mood, I wonder? Uh, no. Look at all the frames they put into her chewing animation. Yeah, I, no shit! It's so good! Is she chewing faster now that she's not talking? Yeah, I think she is, yeah. yeah. She like, accelerates. Like, 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 like. <laughs> she's going <laughs> to warp speed. <laughs> Um, Emma? Hell yeah, Munch Crunch. I've never seen someone eat snacks with such vehemence. Better give her a wide berth. Oh! <laughs> she threw it She's out. Food <laughs> Why?! <laughs> <laughs> That's her neutral special. That she can just, um, just do the same Emma? thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Um... 
Can I show her something? Hey. 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 Did I, sh did I show you this? Oh, whoops. Emma, could you take a look at this? Um, what do you think? Cool. Must be a bottomless bag of snacks. Snacks of holding. Uh, what's, what is, hey, what's this? What's this? Some kind of headset earpiece? Why would someone leave this in the hallway? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's not having it. <laughs> Maybe Lemurwar's bodyguard dropped it? I, yes, this, I, I, I dropped my I dropped my sculpture in the I hallway. I think this no, is my can't favorite can't character level. in all of Ace Attorney. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Emma. Will you stop eating those snacks for one second and listen? Ha! If you think you're going to pull me away from my sta snacks just to hear you mumbling? on and on about whatever, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Like, they tried to make her as different from Gumshoe as physically possible. Yeah, like she's, she's so constantly... uncooperative. Yeah, she's uncooperative, she's dour, she hates the prosecutor she has to work with, and is just generally extremely bitter all, all the time, whereas Dick was, like, extremely optimistic and happy. And that's why I love her more than Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> now at least I got her to stop munching. They talk to her now? Nope, <laughs> I cannot! She's back to <laughs> munching! A never ending munch. Um. Hey, look at this. Hey, 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 look at this. What's that all looking doll doing there? Oh! I'm not fucking. Voicing her as if her mouth is full. That's too much work. No, do it. Put, put, no. a, put a chip in your mouth and voice it. No, I don't have. No, I have nothing here actually. <laughs> Just try either talking or munching, but not both. Get snackooed, bitch. Give me with a snack. Excuse me, right for going out of my way. Uh -huh. Sorry, I don't speak snackoos. At least she made the effort of. Saying anything about the about the blue badger. What the fuck do I have to do here? <laughs> I'm just gonna. Well, okay. Let's just, let's leave her alone. I guess she's in. A, she's a, she angry too. Um. I'm glimmerous, but I have skies and things to say about them. I really wish this game had a dang and rompa button. Where I could just that's a weird thing to say out of context, where you just like push a button and it shows you all the things that you can interact with. Turns this game into Dangan Rompa. Maybe you actually examine Lamar's office room or dressing room. Oh, maybe. Hold on. Wait, oh, he's looking at the poster? I wanted to look at the coffee machine. That was way more interesting to me. <laughs> um So wait, that's this one? Uh, the other one, I think. No, it's this one, but... Okay, yeah, I guess it would be this one, then. Yeah, it has the sign that says Lamarar and, like, really... Yeah, really... and I think no, the, other, I the other one must be for the Gaviners. Then you can't I even, couldn't even that see one. that. Yeah. So this is Lamarar's dressing room? If you even think about going in there, I'll... <laughs> what was that? Was that a gunshot? Something's going on. Brian, you out of my way! Uh, Emma? Let me war! Let me war! It's not locked. I'm going in. Uh, there, uh, hmm. What's that awful noise, though? That's the concert. <laughs> Raven apparently thought you chip a tooth. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I'm dead. Uh, th that's it's Lemonware's manager, Mr. What's his name? What was this? Oh, lettuce. She's so shut up. Lettuce. Oh no. Hey, you. M me? Watch this room for me. I have to call for backup. Uh, right. Understood. You want me to make sure no one comes in, right? Yeah. What the fuck do you think she meant? I don't touch anything, I'll be right back. 
Well. <laughs> What's going on? I just <laughs> talked to him and now. Oh. Not dead yet. He, he's alive. Mr. Latouse, can you hear me? Shot. I, I was shot. Yeah, no shit. Who, who shot you? I don't know. Gosh. Ask. Ask what? Ask your mom. <laughs> Ask witness. Wi witness. There was a witness? Who? Cold. So cold. Witness. You're cold? D don't head. worry, you're gonna be fine. Help us on the way. Can't see. Hang in there, Mr. Latus. Tell me, who was the witness? Charles? Was it Tupac? <laughs> No witness is siren. Siren? How can a siren witness anything? Oh. If it's an underwater crime that you see anything, goodbye. <laughs> Kill the twos. Uh, Emma? What is that? Who's there? What's wrong? Emma, did you see anyone just now? Huh? No. I could have sworn I heard a door close. The concert's been cancelled. Backup's on the way. Ba backup's on its way. It's Mr. Latouse. He's dead, isn't he? That's terrible. Lost him. Oh no, what a shame. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I voiced this character. <laughs> <laughs> Romain Latouse shot. And I heard his last words. The witness is the siren, whatever that means. So... Lamiwar is the witness. <laughs> because... I, I wonder. Hello? You want me to voice this guy? Yeah! Or do you want to voice him? I okay. am intimidated by this person. <laughs> the venue's locked down. We took names and addresses before letting the crowd go. I just realized that having these characters back to back were gonna sound incredibly similar. That's okay. <laughs> Good work, Darian. I'll let you know if I find anything out with the victim. Later. Yeah, why does he look like a shark? It's just, that's his design motif. Alright. It's investigation time then, ya yeah, Fraulein Detective. I don't need some rock and rolling prosecutor to tell me that. One request I must make? Tell no one on staff or otherwise anything of this. Ooh, a gag order! No word gets out other than that Mr. Latouse had, is dead. No word of the cause of death or of the murder. Tell no one, not even Lemuar? Not even her. We must keep everything under wraps. Oh, one other thing. I'll need your signature on this, hair forehead. Yours too, Fraulein. Oh, that? Hmm, an investigation request. Why just us? You two are civilians, it's standard procedure. That should be okay to sign, I think. You should read it, Apollo! Can I read They're it? Getting... Let me read it really quick! Contracted right. with no pay. Right, well, get started with the investigation. Can I actually, can I actually read it? Oh, I can actually read it! Uh, to ensure the efficiency and secrecy of our investigation, the bearer is hereby ordered to speak to no one outside the investigation concerning any details of the case. Oh, it's a fucking NDA. Yeah. Okay. I'm on it already! Ah, uh, and one tip for you. Huh? Me? Try not to get in the Fraulein Detective's way. She's in a foul mood today. I wonder Gee, why. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> We're all questioned as witnesses. And now none of us can go home. We'll investigate all right. Our way. Justice way. Somehow I don't see us getting back to that crime scene anytime soon. So I can't believe I was there when it happened. Not an experience I care to repeat anytime soon. That's the first time that's ever happened, right? I think so. Where we were literally there. 
This is no time for navel gazing. Let's crack this case. I worry about Trissy. <laughs> she seems to have a very loose idea of what it means to be an attorney. And of course, it's not surprising considering who her father is. Something the matter? Your dad sucks, Trucy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of does. <laughs> There's an awkward silence. <laughs> All right, let's get cracking. <laughs> I'm the only one who was there. The only one who heard Mr. Latus's last words. Yeah, we just saw this. Our last war was goodbye. First order of business is to find out what he meant by siren. God, I so wonder what he meant by siren. I know, it's it's really annoying. What a <laughs> this, mystery. This is, this is one of those cases where you figure everything out ahead of the characters for like <laughs> yeah. two hours, then you just sit there in agony while they go, what could yeah. that mean? Yeah, this is the most egre egregious uh, case of that, because it also happens a lot, a lot during the series in general, but this is the, this is the most pronounced location it happens. Ugh. Yeah. Apollo over here like, oh, they must mean like an air raid siren, right? Yeah, okay, <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. What's that? It looks like some kind of future phone. Oh, phone, a transceiver. Okay, Maya. <laughs> It's called a headset. What's a headset doing on the floor? Wait, do you think Mr. Latus might have been wearing it? Like one of those bodyguards? Hmm, I don't think he was wearing one when we first met. The LED on this thing is lit. It must be on. So lit, dude. <laughs> what? Hello? And they don't pick it up. Why don't they You're pick allowed. it up? You're not allowed to pick it up. Why not? Because you're not technically officially investigating, you're just civilians. Why doesn't he try to do anything else with it, though? You can just try... Like, it's lit up. It's connected to something. What is it connected to? Check that. If this was Phoenix, he'd be doing so much shit right now. Okay. Would he? Okay, yes, he would. <laughs> because I guess, I mean, at this point, I guess, like... I would reckon that Phoenix would be like, yeah, I'm probably going to be involved with this, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm, the stage looks empty. I was hoping to get a chance to talk to Prosecutor Gavin. Oh, well, nothing to do but go to the crime scene, I guess. I guess. Oh, so you want me to go to the crime scene? But then Trissy said that we wouldn't have I, access I, I to the crime they scene. Allowed at the crime yeah, scene. she literally said that we wouldn't have access to the crime scene for a while. But no, we can go in here just fine, actually. I think she probably it probably means after this. Yeah. That is that was very poor phrasing though. Welcome to this case. <laughs> oh, it's you. I figured you'd come. You have to let us investigate the scene, please. Your attorneys, no. Shouldn't you wait until you have a client? Toos did tell me to ask the witness, the siren. This dying breath, no less. Doesn't that count? He's not paying you. Gl glare at me all you want. You'll get no snacks from me. Please. Think of poor Lamuar. Hmm. Oh well, I suppose. You didn't find the body with me. Great, let's get to it. Wow, she did greet really quick. Right. Just try not to touch anything. She's letting us look, and she's not munching your snacks. This bodes well. There are clues here, I can feel it. It's like it's like fucking reading her like an animal, like, oh, she's in a good mood. <laughs> if no hanger unhung, no spot unspotted. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Check, check every single little look at Cranny, as Edward would say. Hung spots? What is... Wait. Also that. That looks like a cookie. That looks like a... You know, hey. you know one of those cookies like jam in them? Oh, hey, you're still here, huh? Yeah, like uh, like, like the kind of grandmas uh, have the tins for yeah. that they use for sewing. Yeah. There's a, yeah. I think there's one called the Jammy Dodger that like I only know the name of because of uh, Doctor Who. <laughs> um, I think those I think those bullet holes are probably the thing that I should look at first because that's interesting. 
Oh, how does... Hmm. Are these bullet holes? Looks like it. There are two holes in the wall. From the look of it, the victim was shot once in the shoulder. The first shot must have missed. But there are two holes. Wouldn't that mean two misses? The murder weapon is a 45 caliber revolver. It's very powerful. I believe what we're seeing here is the mark left by the second bullet after it passed through his shoulder. Ouch, sounds painful. No kidding. I wonder about the murder weapon. Yeah, no shit, that, ow. That big gun. Yeah, also, it's the kind of gun that getting shot in the shoulder will kill you just because it rips your arteries apart in the also, way Also, Yeah, I was wondering about that. They... That can't be the murder weapon. What? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> and this is the murder weapon, isn't it? This revolver? That's right. A big 45 caliber revolver. <clears throat> wow. I wonder who brought this in here. I thought only police were allowed to have one of those. Why are you giving me that look? I didn't do it. I didn't. Listen, I was out in the hall eating snack foods when it happened. I threw like 12 at you, dude. <laughs> I know, I know. No one here thinks you did it, Emma. It's hard to tell with you sometimes, Apollo. Hey, what have I done? Your forehead is very intimidating sometimes. <laughs> Wait, if the killer brought a revolver... It must mean they had planned this from the start. That's right, right? That's right, left. Okay, so... Alright, so... They left this here. This is here. This is just here. It's just here. This is evidence. Yeah. And we're just assuming that the culprit left it here and that it's the murder weapon. This is the thing that killed this man. I mean, it's the only thing that looks capable of leaving those holes from the wall. Yes, but we shouldn't just make the assumption that this is the murder weapon immediately. Look at like, its fucking position compared to his body. This is very clearly something that he could have been holding. But when you consider this as supposed to be Japan and guns are extremely hard to get, let alone guns of that caliber, like, it's... It's really hard to see the thing of another place someone could have gotten it from. Yeah, but like... Yeah. These people are yeah, sus. He, yeah, he was just a manager, you know? But also like... How could he have gotten that gun like that? But also like the positioning of the bullet holes on this wall are like... Yeah, this man sure did try to shoot in self-defense and missed and then died. And, and that's missed. the gun he was shooting. Hey, let's poke around the dead body, shall we? <laughs> Th that's a body, isn't it? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure is. The victim, no less. Let's take a closer look. This writing is bonkers. <laughs> Go ahead, Apollo. You first. No, you should go first, Trucy. Really. Will you just stop bickering and get over here? Get over here! <laughs> she's munching on snackoos again. Hope she's not too annoyed. Why? I love that Emma can eat. <laughs> <laughs> Let her eat. Let her eat. But I, there's literally a corpse here, and she's like, Oh yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> they, they do the autopsy. It's like, does anyone know how Carinto Crumbs got in his wounds? <laughs> I have no idea. Don't worry about it. He just balls up the bag and throws it in the garbage. <laughs> so this is, also he writes he wrote something. He writes something. Nick, is that blood? Um, why don't you examine this one, Apollo? You know more about uh red stuff than I do. Yep. Says who? Says the blue magician. Something strange about this blood, though. Oh my. I just realized there's definitely some color motifing with them, huh? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Is this what it looks like? Yeah. Ah. ah. Mm. <laughs> Apollo, look at this hand! He's holding something. Hey, no touching! You can throw the snacks you like at me, Eka. Emma. I told said Eka. Eka. But sooner or later, you're gonna run out of them. 
Mm, you raise a good point. I'm a bit intrigued by this scene. Let's take a look. Ah, see there? He's holding something. What? Uh, what's this? A key ring? You think it might belong to the killer? Certainly a possibility. What? What an unusual key ring. I want unusual keys. This could be a vital clue. Why is that key shaped like a guitar? Why does that one key say Goral? Goral. <laughs> <laughs> like that one scene of Goofy saying, showing all his keys to, to Mickey Mouse. Is that it? Alright. See you later, dude. Oh, hello, Weona. Goodbye. Hello, Weona. Hi, Goral. Weona. I wish I could scroll. I wish this was a PC port. Why does it say Goral? Goral. 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 I like Goral. <laughs> the only noteworthy key is the guitar one. Yeah. <laughs> there are three keys on this heart-shaped keyring. Huh? This middle key is shaped like a guitar? I get it. It must be the key to a guitar case. A guitar case key? Oh, but I don't know who this key belongs to. Uh huh. What key? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we know who this yeah. belongs to. Coral. 